I'm Andy. Hello everyone, how are we feeling today? Good? Good. I want to share this poem with all of you. Um, it's titled, um, A Tough World to Be a Woman In. Can everybody hear me? Yes? Okay. Awesome. Here we go. It is a tough world to be a woman in. One must wear enough makeup so the blemishes and dark circles don't show, but not too much that you look like a crayon box exploded on your face. One must show off some skin and cute little skirts and shorts, but not too much because you're labeled a slut. Who cares if you are finally secure about your body? It ain't for you to look or touch anyway. One must speak when spoken to, not when one wants to speak, and always, always keep your head down. One must be in the mood, but not too much in the mood, because you might be having too much of it, you know? Preferably, you're not having any of it at all into marriage, so just be like a sensual angel. One must have a magazine-style body, Angelina Jolie lips, Pam Anderson boobs, cute little feet like Barbie, and long Sofia Vergara hair that isn't curly. But damn, where is the real me underneath all this Photoshop pixelated beauty standards? One must only read Cosmopolitan and Beauty Secrets, Please Him Secrets, Cook For Him Secrets, Cleaning Secrets, Shopping Secrets, all found at wherethehellismypleasure.com. One must be smart and articulate, but not too smart, independent, but not a feminist, just enough that you're dependent on him, but not clingy. One must have a small frame, small enough where you have no space left to hide feelings, dreams, or fantasies. One must be lean, but not Schwarzenegger buff, and strong enough to bear children, unless you are a woman of color. Your children are for the welfare system, or they are anchor babies anyway. And in between all these rules and regulations and social constructions, you're expected to smile and always be happy, always be welcoming. It's a dangerous world to be a woman in. Today, our bodies are on display for the world to see. Eyes wide open, they stare into our uteruses because our eyes aren't enough. Eyes wide open, they stare into our vaginas because our eyes aren't at their same level. They think we are below them, beneath them, lying down, bent over, underneath them, eyes not at the same level. Today, our bodies are televised, reported news pieces, misrepresented half stories about what the real problem is. A rape about a girl in India, about a rape in New York, late night on the bus, in the park, in the elevator, all alone. They say she was dressed provocatively. They say she let him inside, then changed her mind. They say the two were married. They say he was her neighbor. They say she was a prostitute. They say she didn't defend herself. They say she was intoxicated anyway. But I say stop justifying the damage. Stop explaining the situation. Stop victimizing the rapist. Stop silencing her story. Stop speaking on her behalf. But I say fuck you for not supporting her, for blaming her clothing. For blaming her clothing, her makeup, her body shape, her job, her party habits. I say you are an idiot for thinking masculinity is found in between my legs. For thinking that by force you will find a reason for existing. There you will find power and life flowing out of me like a raging waterfall that I give birth to. And it is only for me. Like a fire burning through me, I am stronger than you will ever be. Today, our bodies are laid on paper, lined in ink with laws and prohibitions, regulations on when I can have sex, with whom I can have sex, what I can use during sex, where my options are after sex, like damn, there are people being killed, deported, tortured, stopped and frisked and oppressed, but you worry about who is leaking my kingdom? When the hell did my body become the center of all this unwanted attention? Thank you.